Long before the 2024 explosion of Black Diamond Pool brought renewed attention to hydrothermal hazards in Yellowstone National Park, there was Excelsior Geyser. In the late 1800s, that feature set a standard for hydrothermal explosions. A hydrothermal explosion from Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin sent people running for cover. These of explosions are relatively common in Yellowstone National Park, although seldom so well documented. Explosions that left craters about 10 feet, 3 meters, across occurred in Norris Geyser Basin, in 1989 at Porkchop Geyser and more recently on April 15, 2024, above Porcelain Basin. Hydrothermal explosions of those sizes probably occur every year to few years somewhere in the vast landscape of Yellowstone National Park but often go unobserved because they occur at night, in the winter, or in the backcountry. Something the size of the Black Diamond Pool event of 2024 probably occurs every few decades in Yellowstone. Before the 2024 Black Diamond Pool explosion, the largest well-observed front-country hydrothermal explosions were those of Excelsior Geyser in the late 1800s. Excelsior Geyser is located in Midway Geyser Basin, adjacent to the spectacular Grand Prismatic Spring. The geyser may have formed sometime in the mid-1800s, it was not described by a trapper who visited and described Grand Prismatic Spring in 1839 but was present by 1871, when it was named the Cauldron. The activity at Excelsior Geyser in the late 1800s highlights the spectrum of hydrothermal activity, from geyser eruptions to hydrothermal explosions. Some activity could be characterized as dirty geyser eruptions that were intense enough to eject small rock fragments while other events involved boulders and large plumes of material lofted high into the air. Park Superintendent Philetus W. Norris thought the eruptions sufficiently impressive for the feature to merit the name Excelsior. <laughs>